decide to write this book. Okay, so I wanted to write this book because I, when I looked at the Western coverage of this, they had a lot of the facts right, but didn't think they did a very good job of capturing the whole spirit of the revolution and what we were really trying to accomplish. A large part of it was kind of, yeah, yeah, China is this big government really put down their people, which was a part of it, but a lot of it was really more us trying to get a conversation with them. And I, I felt like that was not really conveyed in this well enough in Western media. You spent a lot of time in the book talking about your childhood. Which of these, which of the events about you growing up do you think has impacted you the most? Okay, so when, that, that would definitely be my father. When I was growing up, up he was the first person that took me me to see really the first examples I saw of free speech in China. When a, a leader of our country died, there was a, people started putting up poems and posters talking about this well-beloved leader of the people. And my father would sit there for hours just copying down these poems so we would have them for later. If he was a, he studied language uh, at college, so he was a, very avidly into poetry, and it was really incredible to see people putting this up.